Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to episode 2 of M240i. In this video we'll be fitting all the parts from SSDD Motorsport which we'll run through now. So the first part to install is the M3 style mirror caps, arguably the easiest part to fit and the most visually pleasing. They've made such a difference to the look of the car and as I'll overlay a clip now, really easy to fit. You simply pick them from the corner, run a trim tool around and they pop off, literally two minutes to fit these. For me, the worst one, which you'd probably be surprised by, was actually the carbon boot spoiler. And not because there's an issue fitting the new one, it was removing the old one. When I eventually peeled it off using like dental floss to cut through it, it left behind the worst residue I could believe that was on there. So I ended up using a rubber wheel to try and move it out without damaging any paintwork tar and glue remover and then eventually once it was all stripped down polished it degreased it and then fitted the new spoiler with 3m double tape which is certainly solid on there now Thank you. 
So something that was a last minute idea for those that are familiar with the two series, they actually have a reflector on the back and I really didn't like the way it looked tied in with the rest of the car. So I thought, Do you know what? I'll have a quick go with some 3M carbon wrap and cover these up. And if we do like them, I'll see if I can buy them in a genuine carbon fiber or potentially paint them black. But like I say, for two seconds, just to put some carbon wrap on them, see what they look like, it was certainly worth a try. So moving on to the front of the car, we have the carbon splitters or fangs as they're known as well as they're designed just to be on the corners. And now the reason I went for these and not the full length is when you end up with the full length, it just becomes a bit of a nightmare with speed bumps. We live around London, it's not ideal. So I'm sure there's some potential that these could catch, but they're easy to replace and they can be replaced side by side. So whilst these were also fitted, I did also install the black fins, which I say were the standard ones repainted. And I think it's really tied the front end in because these were in the gray, the mirror caps are in the gray and the wheels are in the gray. So that's now all gone just to the black and white theme throughout the car. So it's pretty straightforward to pop the grills out. Again, straightforward to remove the splitters. The only thing I did add, which you don't have to do, is I put some carbon wrap inside the gap. And now the reason I did that is if you do just install the splitter, you end up with like a white line under there, which is normal, unfortunately, with the M3s as well and it just ties it all in looks really factory fresh
finally it was the front grills again not a difficult job just incredibly fiddly you remove the weather strip undo the t30 bolts on the front pull the front bumper forward and you can get your hand down in there and unclip the tabs all round there now because these were the originals that were on the car from new they were stiff to remove and i say it wasn't the worst job it just ended up shaving all the skin off my hand so if you've got big forearms you're not going to enjoy this job but really pleased and hopefully you guys can appreciate it actually now looks like a proper little m light car So again, a big thanks to SSDD Motorsport who have provided the parts for the video. Absolutely fantastic finished result on the car. And like I say, if you do want to do these bits to your own car, I'll put all link in description with all the parts that you require with the splitters, the mirror caps, the spoiler. Honestly, thrilled to bits of how it's come along. So looking forward to getting into episode three. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.